Welcome back to the Axon Files. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to program a comprehensive circle suite. Let me show you how it works. So go to program, execute it. It'll ask you for the if you want to calculate the area, the radius, or the circumference. Let's take the area. So let's say the radius is 10. It'll show the area as 3 314.159. I've included a check here. And um, next, let's take the radius. So the area in our earlier one was 314.159. So it'll show the radius as 9.9999 or close to 10. Okay. And finally, let's take the circumference, 3. Um, let's say the radius is 10 again circumference is 62.83 look up here okay so let's get into how to actually program this program as always be sure to check the key press history down here okay so let's click program scroll over to new and we'll create a new program and we'll call it circle circle and click enter and then click program again and scroll over to the I slash O and click 8 for clear home. This will clear your home screen. Okay. And then click enter again and click program. We scroll all the way down and it'll have menu here. So click menu. And in quotes, let's put on our alpha locks. In quotes, um, we'll put calculate. Calculate. Calculate and put a colon and this is just for aesthetic purposes you don't actually need to put a colon and the quotes and then comma uh, alpha lock again let's put area because we're calculating the area of the circle area and then click comma one comma again and then alpha lock again and then quotation marks area uh, next we're also solving for the circumference so s or c i r circumference okay I end the quotes click alpha to uh, end the alpha lock then click comma and click two comma again Okay, and the last part that we're going to be able to solve with this program is the radius. Now, we have to input the area for the radius to be solved. So let's do that. Um, put on the alpha lock again, and this time type in radius. Radius, uh, end the quotes, uh, press alpha to end the alpha lock, comma, three, and then end with this parentheses. Okay. So next we have to click enter and then program, click 9 for label and label 1. So this time we're going to be solving for the area. Okay, so uh, click program, scroll over and we have to ask the user for input and in this case they'll be inputting the radius. So quotation marks and then type in radius, space, colon, and then quotes. Let's store this as the variable a. Okay, so as we know, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So let's input this into our calculators. Pi, or in parentheses, pi times a squared. a squared. Okay, now let's store this operation as the variable b. Okay, and click enter, click program, scroll over and click 3 for disp or display, and then in quotation marks, put on our alpha locks, in quotation marks, uh, what we have to do, we have to display the area, so type in area, area, and uh, with a colon, and quotation marks, area, and then click enter, program, and then scroll over and click disp again. Okay, this time we're just displaying the variable b, so let's do that. Okay, 
and next click enter and program and scroll down and find the stop button or right, stop function this will stop this and we can move on to um, to inputting in the code for the circumference of the circle okay so click enter program nine for label and label two um, this time we're calculating the circumference which um, for the circumference we need the radius again so click program scroll over and we'll prompt the user for the radius of the circle again so radius okay space colon quotes okay and click alpha and then we'll store this as the variable C okay and then click enter and as we know the formula is 2 pi r so let's input that formula 2 times pi times in this case r is stored as c so c is our radius um, click c and let's store this operation as d okay click enter again and click program scroll over and click disp or 3 for display so let's display put on our alpha locks typing uh, type in circumference 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 okay colon and the quotes and then click enter again and click program scroll over and click three for a disp display and let's display the variable d this time this will display the circumference okay so click enter again and we have to stop this uh, this thing going on so program scroll down and click stop okay now we can move on to label three um, where we solve for the radius so click program click nine for label this time label three for the radius okay click enter and this time we have to prompt the user for the area of the circle so we can find out or the program can find out the radius so click program scroll over click input and then in quotes put on alpha lock in quotes uh, let's just put in area because we're prompting the user for the area so like we did before space colon quotes and then we'll store this as the variable e okay so I calcul I did a few calculations and I found out that square root of a where a is the area and square root of a over pi is the radius so let's input that into the calculator square root of in this case a is e the area so square root of e divided by pi pi okay and the uh, parentheses and then we'll store this operation as the variable f and then we can just click enter and this time program scroll over disp display I'll put on the alpha lock display radius radius a colon and the quotes and then click enter again click program click scroll over press 3 for display and we'll display the variable F okay and finally our last step is to click program scroll all the way down and press stop so our program is done and now we can test it out let's click second mode this quits and let's start executing the program so click program let's execute one circle and you can calculate the area circumference and radius of the circle so first let's calculate the area of the circle um, this time let's have a radius of six six area is 113.09 and you can look over here for the verification so next let's uh, let's find the radius from the area so okay 
the area here is 113.09, which is what we're going to use in this. So radius 3. Area is 113.09. Okay, so here. The radius is 5.999, or we can round this up to 6. Okay, finally, let's check um, the circumference. Let's click Execute. Enter again. Um, 2. Circumference. Radius, let's say this time the radius is 13. Circumference will be 81.68. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time on the Axon Files.